Last October, author and co-author Michaela Tyler and her grandmother, Michelle Greer, came out with a phenomenal book to combat billion called Love 7. I sat down one more time with Michaela and Ms. Greer for a special edition of Quintin's Close-Ups. And be sure to download the free Quintin's Close-Ups app in your Apple or Google Play stores. And of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel and listen later on my free Quintin's Close-Ups iHeartRadio podcast. Michaela Tyler and Michelle Greer, welcome back to Quintin's Close-Ups. Thank you. Thank you. You know, the last time I spoke with you all four months ago for Quentin's Full Subs, we talked about your book, because obviously you're the author and co-author of Love 7, which are basically positive character traits for children who are really dealing with bullying. Michaela, since that time, how has this whole process changed you? Um, it's been really good, and it's made me feel better to see other people reading my book and changing. Changing. I know, Ms. Greer, you know, when I spoke with you for Quintus Close Ups four months ago, you basically said this is probably once in a lifetime experience. How has this experience changed you? First of all, I, I, I appreciate the positive feedback we're getting in terms of hopefully kids benefiting from the book. Sure. And as one of her teachers said in one of the interviews, not only can children learn from the book, but adults can learn from the book. So hopefully it makes people, not just children, re-examine their behavior, their attitudes, and hopefully bring about more kindness to other people. So that's the biggest thing I've seen. We've met so many wonderful people as we've done these book signings. What's your favorite person that you've met so far? Oh. (laughs) (laughs) Well, um... Oh, well, you know, anybody, tell me about the first, you know, you've been selling a lot of books recently. Who's that favorite person of yours that you've been able to get in contact with? Um, I got in contact with a lot of people, and they've also, like, been really, like, supportive with a lot of things. A lot of things. And I understand that, obviously, that some of the school officials in your particular county have recognized your book. And I know that a lot of people are checking out your books at your school library. Mm-hmm. How does that feel in your mind? It makes me feel really happy to know that other people can also read my book. Yes, yes, yes. And Ms. Greer, I understand, obviously, from last February to now, this book has been a success. Where should this momentum go in your mind? First of all, I want to back up sure. in terms of one of the people most impressive the impressionable, yes. uh, only because of the way it happened. We were here at our last interview, uh, book signing, I'm sorry, the last book signing, yeah. and one of the people who we actually met yeah. was a person that Michaela's parents used to watch on television who had a cooking show. Oh, wow. And that was kind of exciting for them. Miss Dupree. Oh, yes. And it was exciting for them, even, because they remembered watching her as a child. And then to have her come and not only take a photo with Michaela, with us, but she also purchased a book. So that was very good. Very good. But in terms of where it's going with the school system, whatever, we can only hope and pray that everything is going to work out uh, in a positive way, we would just like to see it in other schools. We would like to see lots of children with the book and hopefully learning something in terms of being uh, compassionate, in terms of being respectful, and in terms of being having some type of integrity. And I know also when I interviewed you for last for the last time for Quintus Wilson, well, she basically said, "Hey, I want these books in all the elementary schools." Where are we with that? Still working. That's still in the in in the makings. We're still working that. It's a slow fog process, but we have made some contacts, and we can hope that hopefully this is going to come about. Come about. I know, Michaela. You said that you're so happy with how Love Seven has impacted a lot of people. Tell me, how has it changed you? Um, it changed me by like being better to other people and showing. Like in helping other people with sure. things, yeah, making me feel better. Better. I know that also you said this on July 5th on your Facebook page. You said this quote, we're better together than apart. Teamwork makes the dream work. How do you make this work with your grandmother being the author and co-author of this book? 
Um, we both work together and made the book together, and we um, did some things that, from our experience, it was with it. Right, right. What has that experience been like so far in your mind as an author? Um, I think it's been better because a lot more people have been reading my book and changing and making them like not boring to other people. people. What is the favorite character in this book now? You obviously published this book back last October. From October to now, who is still your favorite character? Nikki. Hmm. Why Nikki? Because she can be shy like me sometimes, but she's very supportive and that uh, she shows integrity. Yes, integrity. And talk to me more about that because if you were to answer, well, if you were to create another character for the book, who would you include? I would include a person that also like is very helpful to people and that is like very understanding to others. Others. You talk about that. I know Ms. Greer, last time we interviewed I interviewed you for Quentin's Close Up Scan, you basically said, Hey, we are on a mission. Where is this mission going now? Wherever God takes us, that's the first thing, but also we're on a mission because she's so passionate about this. And I am very passionate about it. Yeah. So whatever we can do to change a life, to save a child from being bullied, or anybody to bring about positive behavior, to hopefully bring about more respect for teachers in the classroom, then that mission, that is our mission. So I'm as passionate about this book as she is, and wherever it goes, I'm willing to follow it. Oh, yes. And I know we talked earlier, four months ago, about bullying. And there's obviously other forms of bullying. Since this book has been published, what forms of bullying have you been able to see firsthand? We, we actually did a presentation for her elementary school, and I don't know if we mentioned that the first time, but we did the presentation, and we talked about bullying. We interacted with the children, the students, because people need to understand just because uh, people may see hidden as a form of bullying, it's, it goes farther. Especially with the social media today, uh, people call other people names. They say things that are not true about other people. They cause people to not necessarily trust themselves and to feel inadequate. So we want to be sure that people understand it is not okay for me to call you a name. It is not okay for me to say something untruthful about you on social media. It, and the way I interact with you also makes you feel good about yourself or it could possibly possibly make you feel bad about yourself. So we want a total message out there mm. about just being a better person. And that's what it's really about. It's about being a better person, having manners, being compassionate, right. being respectful, and having integrity. And Michaela, how does it feel to be you? You obviously are a 10th grader. <laughs> <laughs> I like this. We promoted her because of the book. Keep that in. And then, <laughs> and I remember 10th grade. That was tough. But obviously, you are a 10-year-old kid, and now you're an author. What is it like to be you? Um, very, like, I feel very inspirational, and I feel happy that I'm helping other people. Now, how do you want to help people 5, 10 years now from now with this book as well? Um, by helping other people that are getting bullied or being bullied and to like know that it's not right to bully. Yeah. Miss Greer, what do you want people to know about Love 7 if they haven't read this book already? I would like for people to know that Love 7 is about having positive character traits. We all have character traits. They can be good or they can be bad. They can be what we choose them to be. And we would like to promote positive character traits. So I would like for people to know that there is a 10-year-old child who's on a mission to better the world. Better the world. What do you want to tell your mom and dad now? Because obviously you're an author. How does it I mean? What do you want to tell them? Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for supporting me and being there. Being there.
Well, this was awesome. Thank you again, Michaela Tyler and Michelle Brewer. Thank you for coming back on Point to School Subs. I really do appreciate it. We appreciate you. Thank you for having us. Yes. Uh, again, we cannot overemphasize how much it means for us to be able to get the book out there into children's hands and hopefully that they will learn from these lessons, lessons. Uh, uh, that we're trying to put out here. Is there a lesson that you have learned so far? Learning is a continuous process. You never, I don't care how old you are, how educated, right. you can always learn something. So I think just, I, it makes me reflect on myself. Mm -hmm. The book helps me to say, wait a minute, I'm talking about this. Am I actually living this? Am I doing what I'm preaching? Because we can all go back and re-examine who we are and how we are. And how about you? Have you? What have you learned from the book? Um, that it's very good to help other people, and it makes me feel good when I see other people being helped. That is so amazing. Well, thank you again. I really, really do appreciate this. Thank you. You're welcome. All right. Yeah.